Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the first generation iPad to iOS 3.2 today. So let's get started. All right guys, so in order to downgrade the iPad first generation to iOS 3.2 is, first, we'll need to do a fresh, clean restore of iOS 5 using the IPSW. This will prevent it from going into DFU mode or getting stuck in DFU every single time during the downgrade. See, I've already done that here. Next, you'll need a Mac or a Windows running one of these operating systems. And you'll need to have one of these iPad models here, the 32 or 64 gig Wi-Fi cellular. This does not work on the 16 gig. I've tried it, but it failed every time. Download the files. The link for this will be in the description below. You'll need a USB flash drive plugged into your computer because the older software for Mac and Windows does not work with this anymore. So now we're going to go and download these files. We will have to do one full download at a time. Otherwise, it will say file too big. Click download zip and the downloads have finished. So now I placed them on my desktop. Now we're going to unzip them all. All right, so now with all four files unzipped, you'll see red snow is a folder. That is normal. So now we're going to move all the files to the USB drive. The file is transfer now complete. Now we can go and eject this and move it to the other computer. So now I've got my older computer running OS 10 Yosemite here because I'm using Mac. I'm going to plug my drive in. There it is. So now what we're going to do is take all these files and put them onto the desktop. With the files now on the desktop, we're going to go and open Red Snow. Now we're going to connect our iPad and put it into DFU mode. We're going to go and hold the power and home button until the iPad powers off. Now we're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. And there we go, iPad DFU. Now we're going to click Extras, Pwned. We'll need to go into Pwned for this to work. And sometimes it can kick itself out of DFU mode. So it may take a couple of tries. There we go, my iPad is now in Pwned. Go to iTunes, there we go. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries for the iTunes to detect it. We're going to click Option, Restore. For Windows, it's it Shift and Restore. We can go to Desktop, click 3.2 iFaith. Now it's going to start the restore process. Restore has completed. As you guys can see, we're now in recovery mode. This is normal. That means it worked. If you guys get a black screen with nothing on it, but still shows up in iTunes, that means it got stuck in DFU. So to fix that, you'll need to stay in DFU mode, then click Restore iPad using the iOS 5 IPSW. That's why we downloaded that fourth file, just for in case it got stuck in DFU. All right, so now we're gonna go back into Red Snow, put the iPad back into DFU mode here. All right, so if you get this message where it says Pwned DFU, even though it's not, you just hit Red Snow, then do it again. And there we go, all fixed. So now go to Extras. Now, for the Just Boot option to work, we're gonna click Select IPSW, go to Desktop. Now we're gonna do use this file, the 3.2.2 Restore file. There we go, Identified, click OK. Now, just click Just Boot. And now Red Snow's gonna boot up the iPad. When you see uploading first stage, that means it worked. There we go. So now we got the Red Snow logo, just like that. Boot up was completed. See, now we're at the activation screen. The iPad 3.2. Now we're going to go to iTunes and activate it. There we go. You can see it up here. iPad. There we go. The iPad's now activated, just like that. If my iPad's not fully set up, as you guys can see, I'm running iOS 3.2, the original firmware. And this is the tethered downgrade, which means you need to use the Red Snow to boot the device up every single time the battery dies. To restore back to iOS 5, if you don't want to be on 3 anymore, you'll have to put it back into DFE mode, then use the iOS 5 IPSW. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.